Good afternoon. Today is the 14th day of Elul, and we read this week the Torah portion of Kisava, in which the, which begins with Hashem, or through Moshe, or Moshe telling the Jews that when they get, get to the Promised Land, which is going to be soon, because Moshe is very close to the end of this human life, and they will be shortly afterwards going over into Israel, where they'll have lands and, and uh, own farms and create an agricultural society. It says, when you have a payday, and you think about a payday, some people get paid every week, two weeks, a month. You know, a farm situation, it's really, it's a, a payday is huge because it's months and months or years worth of work culminating in the bounty of the crop and one can only imagine or at least I can only imagine how great that feels to say after all of that work now look at, at the crop it's beautiful it's the work of my hands it's going to support me my family for the year going forward it's very special and the Torah tells us as I've mentioned earlier this week to recognize that God is a partner and take off the top first fruits to dedicate to the temple to public welfare to God and there in the, the person the donor comes with those uh, fruits and says thank you to God not just for the fruits but for life and for our history and the idea that there's, we, are, we are not alone in the universe and we're blessed by God. We, just, we need to channel those blessings and actualize those blessings. We're, we're, we have a loving God who's never disconnected from us. And then the Torah says, for, it's, 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 Moses says, And now, God willing, you will be happy. We all want to be happy. Happy with all the goodness. Now you will rejoice with all the goodness. Crap is goodness. Which goodness that God gave you? And our commentaries tell us that Moshe is is driving home. If you want to be happy, goodness, bounty in life don't necessarily make you happy. They may make life easier. It's great to have assets. It's great to have wealth. Now, the happiness is not something that necessarily comes together with the check. Happiness is a state of mind with which we approach the world. And Moshe says, you'll be happy with all the good that God has given you when you recognize that you're part of a larger system. That as hard as you've worked, and certainly most of us deserve some credit for our success, when we see it as a divine blessing, and we see it as a blessing which is really a, a charge, a mission to say, God is saying, I'm going to give you this because I trust you. And, I, and, and I, I, I'm trusting you to use this wisely and properly. And I look at my assets, not as something which, wow, I can do whatever I want now, I can buy anything, or something I can feed my appetites in any way. It's looking and saying, God gave it to me. It's a vote of confidence in me. And I, I need to recognize the wishes of the donor. I need to recognize the wishes of my partner. And recognize the responsibility that comes along with blessing. And say, and that, that's not in an onerous way. It's, it's in a focused way. It's a direction way. And when we as human beings and this isn't necessarily some of the Jewish Torah concept. It is a Torah concept. But it's, it's, it's out there in all the happiness, in that, I shouldn't say all, in the happiness literature in many places which I've seen, not in Jewish sources. When we focus on meaning, when we focus on something other than ourselves, we can find happiness. And God tells us that. He said, Wish is saying, you're going to have a crop. Great. 
And may you be happy with all the goodness that God has given you. Because that second clause in recognizing the gift of God and the trust of God and the mission from God in our blessings, that's a key to your happiness. And we're getting close to Rosh Hashanah. And so, so I wish you for today and for tomorrow and certainly for the new year. May we all be blessed with actualized, tangible blessings from God. And that we all be blessed with the vision to be able to look at those blessings and accept them and see them for the mission that they represent. And that we are actually happy people. Wish you a good day, a great year.